my god. Y'all, when I tell you I am so over this nonsense. Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing amazing today. I hope you guys are having a great day. You know, I thought I would be making this video, but I thought the video would be like have a good tone to it. I thought I would be able to tell you a success story, you know, give you step-by-step -step things on how I was able to get my license. But sadly, this video is not gonna be that. This video is gonna be me telling you how I failed my driving test three times. I just came back, I just failed it for the third time. I failed three times and I am done with this shit. I don't even wanna to go too much into it to be honest, like, cause like, I, I just, like, after I make this video, like, I'm done. Like, it's, 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 it's a chop, it's, it's done. Like, no more, we're not, we're not doing this anymore. So, I decided about a month ago that I wanted to get my driving license. I only ever got my permit back in New York because I didn't never I never needed to drive. I kind of wanted to, but I never needed to, so I didn't take it very seriously. But here, you know, like last month, I was thinking, you know, it'd be pretty nice to have a car. I don't need it here. And there's pretty good, good buses. You don't really need a car, and I can take a taxi if I need to. You don't really need a car. But I'm like, you know what? It'd be nice to have a car. Like take some trips on whatever. Go to go up the block to McDonald's or whatever. You know, just to have some, just to chill with friends and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be fun. So I decided. I did some research, and I'm like, okay, let's do it. So if you guys don't know, here in Korea, if you want to get your driver's license, you need to take three tests. First is a uh, department written test, which is basically on a computer. And then the next is a closed course test. We have to complete ridiculous tasks. And then the third one is like an actually um, on the road driving test. I felt I passed the first test, uh, the department, the written test. It was out of, I don't know, like fucking 60. I got a 63 on it, fine. Done. The second test, when I tell you that this second test has bust my ass three times, but I've done research on this test on how to pass the test. I've seen so many people talking about they've been driving for 10, 15, 20 years, and then when they got here to um, get their license, they had to take this test and they failed this test like multiple times. Like it's a ridic it's it's a hard test. Basically, again, I don't want to go too much into it, but basically you follow some controls, you follow some commands, and then you go up a hill and then you turn do an intersection and then you do some parking and then you do like acceleration and then it's it's whatever 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 most people fail on the parking because the parking is very very tight it's a 90 degree parking so you have to go in and back in and then and go out and mind you, you have to do all of this in like less than nine minutes about nine minutes so the first time i took this test by the way i've been practicing at like a simulation like driving simulation place it's it's similar to a real car very similar of course it's a little different but like that wasn't even my problem when I actually got into a real car took the test like it wasn't even my problem It was totally fine the first time I took this test I fucking I made it all the way to the parking and then I failed immediately on the, I failed not immediately but I failed at the parking so you need 80 points to pass the test and you start with 100 when I tell you I was parking and then I was backing into the spot I lost 30 points in a matter of like 30 seconds I don't like I don't understand how it happened. They kept telling me parking derailment, which I assume like either I, there's like a formula or whatever. There's like a, there's like a course that they, they want you, they want you to park in a specific way. And I do park in that way. I think I park in that way. I've seen people before me who park in the way that I park and like they pass, it's fine. So like, and I do, so I do my way and that first time I did it and then I fucking failed. I got 10 points, 10 point deduction for parking derailment. I'm like, okay, I don't know what that is. And then I try to back in spot, another 10 points to parking derailment. And mind you, like, it's very tight, so I have to fix my car so I don't hit the yellow lines. But the more I fix it, the more parking derailments I get. So I get minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, and fail right there on the spot, done. Because it's less than 80. So I'm like, what the fuck? I was devastated. Like, I was so devastated that I failed the first time because I honestly thought I was going to pass. Like, it wasn't like, it's hard, but it's not that complicated. Like, you just, you just do the damn thing. So I'm like, I was devastated by it. So I went back, I practiced some more, I did more research. I'm like, fine, like, I'm going to, fine, I'm, I'm going to pass it the second time. Mind you, you have to take, you, you have to wait at least three days to retake the test. And on top of that, like, um, I guess many people are taking the test now, so it's very busy anyway. So... Each time between me taking the test, it's been at least five to ten days. So I, I took the test one day, and then the first time, and the next time I was able to take it, it was ended up being like ten days later. So I practiced ten days, took it the second time, 
failed the second time. I'll admit the second time was my fault because I was turning at the intersection and then like I stopped over the line. It was my fault. I, I admit it was my fault. I stopped over the line and I stayed in the intersection for too long. But that was my fault. I was nervous. Whatever, whatever. I failed. And I'm like, at the second time I was just like, you know what? Like it is what it is. I wasn't even that upset. I was just really annoyed. But the thing is, what gets me is that I, I get very nervous. Like, like it's very traumatizing. Like, cause the entire thing is automated. There's no, there's no one in the car with you. All you hear is like the voice telling you like, the instructions or voice telling you parking deduction. So like it's very traumatizing when like you're in a car and then like you get the deduction, then you get the deduction, then and then you fail. So it's very traumatizing. So that's been on my like I've been very nervous about that. Like even when I'm not taking the test, even when I'm practicing, like like it 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 always like I don't know. It makes me very nervous to think about taking the test again. But so like there's already test anxiety going in there. Fine, whatever. So the second time I'm like, bro, like well, come on now. Like it's I it, it's my fault, fine, whatever. So I got lucky, I ended up being able to take it within the next like I took it on Monday, I failed it, and then I was able to take it on Friday, which is today. So again, I continue to practice. Um, mind you, this place is this driving place is not very close to me. Like I have to either I take a bus and that entire bus trip takes about an hour between waiting or um, I take a taxi and it costs like at least 16 bucks both ways, like going one way 16, coming back at 16. So I, it's either a lot of money or a lot of time. And mind you, I'm doing this in the morning before I go to work. Like I have to wake up like at eight o'clock just to get to this fucking place. I go to work, I usually wake up at 11 or 12. So I'm already losing mad sleep and losing money to pay for these damn tests. And each test costs 22,000 won. So by, so by the beginning of today, I've already spent 66,000 won taking the test three times. So this morning, whatever, I'm like, I didn't feel that nervous. Like I was pretty nervous still, but I was calm. I felt like I prepared. I felt like I knew the rules. I felt like what would cost me just deductions. So I felt okay. I get into the car. Everything is going fine. At the beginning, there's one point where they make you, where they test if you can change gears, like the parking or whatever. I I'm supposed to change it to neutral and then back to parking. I do that, change it back to parking. The computer doesn't register what I just did. And then like 10 seconds pass. You're supposed to do it in five seconds, 10 seconds pass. And then minus five. And I'm like, bro. I, I was like, fine, like, this was your fault, this is totally the computer's fault, but fine, whatever. So I go up the ramp, I do the thing, I do the turn or whatever, and I'm getting ready to go into the parking, I'm remembering all the tips to do this parking correctly, so I go inside, and I'm backing into the tight space, and I tell you, the same spot I failed the first time, I failed again. I failed again. Oh my god. I don't know, I, I like, the thing that gets me is like, I don't know why I failed. Like, I'm almost certain that I didn't cross the line, the yellow the yellow line, because if you cross it when you're parking, it's minus 10. I'm almost certain I didn't cross it. And even if I did cross it, it doesn't explain why I would get minus 10 and then another minus 10 when I didn't even move that much. Like, it's like, it, how, like, I don't understand what's going on. And what gets me the most is that people before me, I see when they're parking and their parking is way worse than what I'm doing and they still manage to get, so I don't understand like what's going on. I don't understand like why I keep, getting minus 10, like why I keep failing at this fucking part. This is the second time I failed to a third time in total. So at the, like, um, I already have, it's, it's 95 points by the time I'm going to the parking. And then I'm backing into the spot. I'm thinking, it's good. I'm checking my merits, good, good, good. Minus 10 points, 85, parking derailment. I'm like, bro, this is not happening. This is like, I knew immediately this was gonna happen again. And then I'm like, you know what, disregard or whatever. Just going back in, keep going, keep going, keep going to the thing. And then again, minus 10. Confirm they're like, minus 10, confirmation, test done. 75 points, failed. For what? For what? And when you fail, the parking, one of the workers come in, like they take over the car and you go, you get your ass, you take your ass, whatever, whatever, to get your, to get your paper back. I looked at the car as I was leaving. I'm like, this shit is not over the line. I don't understand why I failed here again. Like, I, like either I was deviating from like the parking formula, whatever, which I know I wasn't, it was fine. It was okay. Like I've, again, people, I've seen people before me who parked way worse than I did and they passed, they were fine. And then I'm, and I know I didn't cross the line. And if I did cross the line, I didn't cross it twice for me to get lose minus ten. Like I know it sounds like I'm making a lot, a lot of excuses. And then like, what am I trying to say that it's like a conspiracy against me or like I'm like whatever, whatever? But it's like, like where I'm at now is like I'm at the point where it's like I can deal with um, me not doing something right. I can deal with I'm making a mistake. It's my fault, and I can change and relearn from it. What I can't deal with is that things are not going well, and I don't know why. Like, and I don't understand why. That's the thing that gets me. It's like, I, like, 
I can't, like, if I knew it was my mistake and I need to practice this one thing, but it's like, if I can't see what the fuck I did wrong and I keep doing it wrong and I keep losing, it's like, that's what is gonna, like, freaking grind my gears. This is exactly what happened at Yelp, where, like, I'm not gonna, like, I worked my ass off at Yelp. I worked my ass off to, like, do well in sales and to do well and make deals. And it's like, I went to the trainings, I listened to calls, I managed up, I got advice, I did, like, fucking everything I possibly could. And I tell you, I could not really, I could not get a sale. Like, it was just, like, I could not do it. Like, it just would not happen. And I don't understand why. It's the same thing. Like, when it comes to things like this, where it's like, I'm trying hard and I'm working hard and I keep, like, kind of failing and I don't understand why I keep failing. This is, like, it's like, I'm done. Like, I'm over. Like, it's like, I'm at the point where it's like, I'm done accepting personal responsibility. <laughs> like, it's like, at a certain point, like, I'm acknowledging, like, you know what? I did the best I can. It's out of my control. And people don't want you to say that. People want you to say, like, oh, like, I won't give up. I'll keep going. Over. I'm fucking giving up. I'm done. I don't care. Like, it's it, it's not that deep to me. I, I, I wanted a car. I wanted to be able to drive. But it's like... It's, 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 it's not worth me losing sleep. It's not worth me being tired when I go to work. It's not worth me keep fucking spending money. It's not worth like the constant anxiety of like me knowing, like thinking I'm gonna fail. It's not worth, it's a lot. It's a lot to fucking deal with. And I'm, I think I'm over it. I think I'm done. I have another test rescheduled for next Friday, for next month, for next Thursday actually. And another 22,000 one. So if you're keeping tally, I spent at least 80 bucks taking this test. I spent at least 80 fucking bucks taking this test already. And on taxis going back, going back and forth, at least a hundred bucks already. And then in addition to what I'm paying to practice at the um, driving simulation place. So it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money gone. It's a lot of time gone. It's a lot of sleep lost. And I, I think I'm going to draw the line. It's at this point where it's like, I could say, you know, I've already invested the time and the money, so I should just continue. But like, I'm on the other, I'm on the other side. Like that's sunk cost. I've already invested the time and money. So what? That shit's gone. I can't. I can't get it back, it's done. There's no reason for me to continue like doing this. Like, I know, like, I do want to drive, I guess, and like, I want to have a car, I guess, but like, at this point, I feel it's just injustice. Like, some sometimes things are just too fucking hard and that it's not even, it's, it, you get to a point where it's like, you, like, to expend more time and to spend more resources on something that's so fucking hard and that like, in the end, is it really worth it? For me, I'm gonna say it's probably, it's, I, I, I don't think it's worth it at this point. I'm at the point where it's not very worth it for me. So I think I'm gonna be done. Like, and if I'm not done, it's gonna be a long time before I go back to that place to retake that test. Cause like, I, I've had it. Like, I've had it with the anxiety. I've had it with the fucking losing sleep. I've had it with the spending money. I've had it. I've had it. So, yeah. So that's where I'm at. Um, and I just wanted to share after this video, like, I'm done. Like, I, it's, I'm releasing it, I'm releasing it, I'm releasing it, getting the energy out, and then it's done. So, yeah, if you guys are in Korea and you think about taking the test, I mean, honestly, do it. I don't care. Do it if you want to do it. If you think you pass, do it. But, like, I'm sharing you, I'm sharing my experiences. Like, it was, I've been having a horrible experience so far. So, I don't know. That's the end of the video, guys. Like, thank you for watching.